Yes, Manchester City then won that battle in the top four between Manchester City and West Ham as they made it 20 wins in a row in all competitions. It's pulled them 13 points clear at the top of the table as things stand with Manchester United playing at Chelsea later on today. But of course, Cass, they didn't have it their own way uh, as West Ham showed exactly why they are challenging for the top four right now. It was, yeah. a, it was an intriguing it was an intriguing game, wasn't it? Well, a one? proper performance by yeah. West Ham. Really was. Made it difficult for City. And they did look flat, I must be honest. Um, Euro- European exploits in the week. I thought the front three, Mares, Torres and Aguero, looked pretty off, off colour mm. in, in the game. Um, never really got going. Aguero looked like he'd missed a lot of football, so he needed definitely 90 minutes. I mean, Kevin De Bruyne had kept giving the, way, uh, giving the ball away in the first 20, 30 minutes, and I picked him yesterday, didn't I? I was, I'm thinking, cool, Kevin, you've had a nightmare the first. Get him off! <laughs> you know, like laughing to myself. <laughs> and uh, then he produces what De Bruyne does. You know, when you have a player that can do that, you can defend as good as you like. You can perform. Everyone can do their job. And suddenly he puts a ball on someone's head that's literally mm. across field pass with his bad foot and it's uh, 1-0 and fair play West West Ham made a real game of it Natalie they they caused them problems they you know this is a team that have got two centre halves who are in outstanding form I can't we could go back and go individually like look at you know what Van Dyke did for Liverpool what company what John Terry what Rio Ferdinand Tony Adams many many more over the years I can't remember a partnership of two playing that well. Stones and Diaz have been extraordinary in the last in this run of 20 and before. You, you mentioned the, the centre-back partnership. I can't work out if they're centre-backs and centre-forwards. <laughs> they're always up there now. Good point. I mean, the, the, it's incredible. And, and I know after the game, Pep Guardiola even talked about the fact that he's so happy that the goals are being shared around yeah. and they really are in this team. It's incredible. Yeah, well, that ethos of, uh, of his team is, yeah, lots of players can score lots of goals, you know, from different positions. Two centre-halves were like two centre-forwards were finishing. Um, funnily enough, LaSalle was a centre-half yesterday and he scored, <laughs> but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> and so, that was yeah. for you, Cass, as well. <laughs> um, no, they're, they're very dangerous. They can be off-colour and have a team play really well against them and still get over the line. You know, City, are, they've had 20 wins. By the way... The world record of top flight football is oh, 26 on. wins. Okay? okay. So City are fast approaching the world record, which was set in 1971-72 by Ajax with, obviously, Johan Cruyff. You Ooh. know, Nayskins, uh, uh, you know, Rep, Johnny Rep, that team, which were an extraordinary team. So City are really close to it now. Well, if you're going on that then, let's just tell everybody where, what game they could break that record. So, uh, obviously, it was their 20th win yesterday. So, one, two, three, four, five. The seventh game uh, in their run coming up will be after the international break. It'll be at Leicester. Right. That's quite. That's not an easy one. On for them, them to... games, they've got a games. I mean, you could say City could beat anybody, but they look like most of them. They're probably going to win anyway. Well, it's in terms of that run. Then they've got Wolves. They've got Manchester United, Southampton, Fulham, uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach, Everton in the FA Cup. Um, so yeah. they are, as you say, winnable games, which yeah. is fascinating and intriguing. Well, we've and, thrown and, it in there early, and we know Pep Guardiola likes to break records. Well, so yeah. that'll be something that'll be playing on his mind, no doubt, if, if things continue as they are going right now for them and they get ever closer to that game yeah. against Leicester well I I came out after I finished watching the game I thought how proud is David Moyes going to be of his team mm. they've lost the game they've been playing well of late and the way they played yesterday because it wasn't shut you know shut the, 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 no. the you know just park the buses and make it as difficult as they can they tried to break really quickly on City and exploit space which... well, I was going to say very quickly Jesse Lingard has yeah, really added really to them well. for that reason and yeah. really working well with Mikel Antonio yeah it does it well both are willing runners will get into spaces I thought they did it well I thought Declan Rice and Suchek in midfield really aggressive in their play getting on it simple balls I, I just really like their fullbacks got forward when they had to you know, West Ham caused City problems. OK, they were a bit flat. But David Moyes, as I said yesterday, he's got a completely different team from last year. Mm, yeah, a really transformed West Ham. And they certainly put on a game uh, against Manchester City yesterday. But it was Pep Guardiola's side that uh, clinched that victory to move them 13 points clear at the top of the table.